right so after the introduction let us start with the basic definitions of the chapter so what are these these are the common definitions which are asked let us see and then go back directly to the topic where uh, you can easily score those three marks in the chapter right so first basically we are asked to suppose if you are if you are asked to define mineral and an ore okay or the difference between a mineral and ore so let, let us write so what is a mineral <coughs> we very well know an earth crust is a combination of n, uh, n number of uh, minerals isn't it yeah uh, along with that we also have impurities right again we have ores in present in those uh, or a type of uh, mineral which we call it as ore so let us start from this minerals are if i have to write the definition are naturally occurring substances in which metals and their compounds exist okay. this is what i can easily this is the uh, way of writing the definition so minerals are naturally occurring substances right in which metals and their compounds the corresponding compounds exist together in nature right now what is an ore i have to start the answer like this ores are minerals please uh, let me tell you why am i writing like that so ores are minerals yes right from which metals can be extracted economically right what does it mean economically that means i can the metal which i suppose if i require iron metal i have to go to its <coughs> ore right or ore of iron is hematite or magnetite or siderite right so i'll go pick up that ore i'll do the different uh, steps like concentration your uh, first i have to separate it right after that i have to concentrate it after that i have to do the extraction after that i have to do the refining then i get the pure metal so what can i do I, instead of the mineral i can pick up the ore and from there i can extract the metal that too economically economically means in a cheap way so in a cheap way done so now what question board board asks is all are all minerals ores or all ores are minerals so this is where i asked to do the definition so remember all ores are minerals remember this that is what i wrote ores are minerals but all minerals are not ores this is what you have to remember right i can extract or ores are minerals a class of compounds from which i can extract metals but all minerals are not ores i can't generalize it as they contain the ore particular ore from which i can extract the metal no so remember this line this is what they going to ask you if they ask you you can justify this answer writing these definitions and you can write in your own words also done now what is gange gange are impurity impurities which are present along with the ores impurities present along with ores okay done now what is slag we call one word word called slag then we call flux also okay let us see what is slag of flux slag actually slag is a combined product that means it is a fusible product fusible product means combined product combined product <coughs> fusible product when is it formed when yes when you i told you gange isn't it gange is present in this ore so your gange combines with a, 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 a compound called flux gange plus flux they form slag okay so slag is that liquid layer which i can separate it out in the form of impurities i can wash it off or separate it because it forms a layer above the metal surface so gange <coughs> the impurity plus your flux together forms slag as in when i do the examples i'll show you examples with silica and iron oxide also and gradually i'll show you different different examples so as of now remember minerals are not ores but ores are minerals gange is the impurity slag is the combination of this so i'll meet you directly into the topic now i'll be starting with extraction of iron <coughs> 